to the show. Bit of a different background. <laughs> We're at my neighbor's house and it's not because it's 32 degrees in the shop this morning. It's because Mr. Walton posted a pretty good question on my last video. And that's can you substitute a piece of granite countertop for a precision um, surface plate? So the answer is I don't know and we're about to find out. So let's take the camera over here and see what we can find out. Alright, the lighting's not too great guys, but at least I'll get to say or comment on it. Now remember this is the really precision indicator from zero to one is a thousandth of an inch. And I've kind of cleaned the counter down. Now how old is the counter? It's been in here for quite a few years, right? Six years. Six years? So it's probably warped being on just regular two by fours and stuff. So it's kind of cleaned down. Let's get this guy in here and see what this is going to do. Now if this turns out to be a substitute, I'm going to be like, whoa, okay. <laughs> so you hope you're watching, Mr. Walton. Ah, oh, great. All right. Trying to get this thing all in position and super tight. It's a pain. There we go. All right, I think I've got it. Well, it's glide and smooth. Gliding just as smooth as a precision surface here. Let's take it down. I might have to move the camera so you guys can actually see some numbers here. Alright, we got a reading. Is this thing solid? Whoa. Uh, this is not moving, guys. On all four corners. Yeah, I don't see any movement. Yep, there we go. Yeah, expect bumps and dents in it. So what am I... Can you guys even see this? Not really. There's not much I can do. Try moving the camera more vertical here. Let's see. Oh, it's going to fall off the counter. Alright, I need to lock this up. Sorry about making you guys dizzy. There, you might be able to see it. Alright, so, where am I at? I'm not touching. So you can see, when I tap on it, that needle is not moving. So this is absolutely flat right here. I mean, to a tenth of a thou. If I move it, what am I at? It's, um, it's uh, 3.4. There's 5, so you're talking one tenth off. There's another tenth. Whoa, now it's moving near thousand, two thousandth of an inch, which isn't really that bad, and it's coming back down. So, no, I, it is warped. Yeah, and there's lots of bumps you can see in it. Needles just bouncing all over the place. So the answer is no. I don't think you can use a granite piece of granite countertop. Um, for precision surface. If you go on YouTube and look around how it's made, you'll find one video on from quarry to kitchen, the process they use, and it's just basically sawn and then there's a machine that goes over and polishes it. So yeah, I'm sure it's it's pretty crooked. So I think your only choice is to get a granite surface. So hope that was good for you guys. See you later.